Okay, so we have been working on problem that was listed as page 477, number 30, and we ended at the point of having three partial fractions we wanted to integrate. Uh, the first partial fraction was, sorry about that, 3 tenths over x minus 2. The second one, so we're going to integrate that in a little bit. The second one is negative one-tenth over x plus two. Okay. And then the last one was negative one-fifth x plus one-fifth over x squared plus one. I'm going to break that into two separate fractions. So it would be plus integral of negative one-fifth x over x squared plus 1 dx. And the last fraction will be plus 1 fifth over x squared plus 1 dx. So that's going to be four things to integrate. So the first two are not too bad. The first two are natural log integrations. So the first one will give me 3 tenths times the natural log of x minus 2. Okay. The second one, the integral of negative 1 tenth over x plus 2, that's going to give me minus 1 tenth of the natural log of x plus 2. So a good old natural log integration. All right, then the next one is going to be the negative one-fifth x over x squared plus one. That's going to be a u sub. So with a u sub, <clears throat> we'll let our u be x squared plus one, our du be 2x dx. So one-half du equals x dx. So when we set that up, we'll have the integral of negative one-fifth, which is not getting replaced, times one half um, times one over u um, du. So let's make sure that's right. We'll replace the x squared plus one with u. The negative one fifth didn't go anywhere. The x dx becomes one half du. So that gives me, when I integrate this, that gives me negative one tenth natural log of u, because I'm really just integrating the 1 over u. So what do I get out of that? When I go back to x, I get minus 1 tenth natural log of x squared plus 1. Okay, And then I got one more fraction over here. Uh, one fifth over x squared plus one. This is the um, trig inverse that we keep dealing with. So this gives me, this is a um, so the rule that we usually have is, I'll write it down so you know where it comes from, uh, one over a squared plus u squared du. Let's fix that one so it doesn't look so tacky. So that gives me um, 1 over a tangent inverse of u over a. So clearly my u is the x and my a is the 1. So we're going to have as our final here a plus 1 fifth because that 1 fifth is just hanging out a tangent inverse of x and then there'll be a plus c way out here at the end so that's a rather long one um, some things could be combined here if you really wanted to you could pull your coefficients in front of the logarithms inside then you could take your positive logs and put them on top and negative logs and put them on the bottom but I'm just going to leave this answer as is. If you want to clean it up some, you can. But I think we've worked on this problem for about 20 minutes, and I think we're pretty satisfied, if this is right, 
that we did a good job.